As William James, the founding father of psychology in the US once said, whatever quality you want, act as if you already have that quality and it will be yours. To me, one of the most fascinating things about the human psyche is the fact that our brain adapts to the demands that we place upon it. Meaning as we practice a certain skill or certain quality, a certain way of thinking or feeling or behaving, our brain will respond by actually creating the neurological hardware that is associated with that thought or that belief or that emotion or that behavior. So what really happens then is as you think a new thought or you create a new habit of acting or believing or feeling a certain way, what's going to happen is the brain be- builds these neural connections in your mind associated with that thing. And so the more often you repeat that thing, the more often you go down that path over and over and over again, the more often you think in grateful ways, the more often you act in a kind and appreciative way, the more often you go running or you go meditate or you stay resilient and strong in the face of adversity, the more often that neural pathway is going to get used. And it's like you're, you're creating a path through the jungle. The first time you're doing something, the first time you stay resilient and strong under pressure, the first time you forgive another person that wronged you, what's going to happen is it's like you're fighting through the jungle in Brazil, right? You have this knife and you're fighting through the weeds and through the forest, right? And as you repeat that behavior over and over and over again, it's like you're going through over and over again, walking down a path back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until at some point this little path turns into bigger paths and at some point into a tiny little road and then you keep walking down that road and you keep repeating that behavior until it becomes a, a big street and then eventually this giant highway as you repeated a thought or disbelief or this emotional behavior a thousand times over and over again, it becomes easier for your brain to access this neurological path. And so that's literally the process of mastery, the process of learning and acquiring new skills and new habits and new identities and new really ways of being. And so whatever qualities you want to have in your life, whether it's gratitude, whether it's forgiveness, love, relentlessness, drive, motivation, happiness, joy, fulfillment, whatever qualities that you want to acquire in your life, the process to gaining these skills and qualities and mindset and ways of being and feeling and thinking is by actually living them and creating and using them today. So the way to become resilient is by actually using your resilience, by actually seeking out deliberately situations, if you're not forced into them, but literally seeking them out and using your resilience to thrive in these situations. The way to become better at forgiveness is by actually forgiving someone. The way to, way to become better at gratitude is actually sitting down and writing in your gratitude journal, thinking about what you're grateful for. The way to feel more love is to actually give love and, and feel that love for another person and show them love, to show them kindness if you want to feel and be a kinder person. And so whatever qualities you want to acquire in your life, whatever you want to get better at, it's really by using them in the first place that you actually strengthen them over time. And so the challenge that I want to give each one of you guys today is really think about the qualities that you want to acquire in this year. Whether that's kindness, love, appreciation of beauty and joy, love and gratitude, whether it's more happiness, more mental strengths, more resilience, more ability to deal with pain and suffering, whatever it is. And then ask yourself, how can I practice that today? How can I already show this today, this quality that I really admire in other people maybe? How can I show this and practice this today? Because as you practice it and as you repeat it over and over and over again, you will actually gain this quality in your life.